guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. I'm a reptile mom and a former AZA Zoo educator, which is very important that you know for this video. So today's video is one that someone requested many months ago that I'm finally doing. And that is a budgeting video. So kind of a little different from my usual videos, but not really because it still ties into zookeeping and reptile keeping. So everyone knows if you go into the animal field wanting to work with animals, you do it because you love animals, you want to work with animals, not because you want money. Money has to not be that important to you because odds are you'll be making minimum wage or maybe a little bit above minimum wage not very much to live off of. Now when I worked at the zoo, I moved out, I had my own apartment, my own place, I paid for everything, I paid all my bills, my rent, my animals, my groceries, my gas, I paid for everything, you know. I packed up, I moved out, I was determined to not ask my parents for any help at all, you know, I was going to do it on my own. I had a full-time job, I had my own place, I lived away from home, so I wanted to prove that I could do it on my own. You know, I was an adult now, I'm done college, I moved out, worked, so I couldn't ask my parents for help anymore. It had to be on me and I was determined to do that. Now it's really hard when you work in a zoo, especially when you just start out and you're at the bottom you are making literal minimum wage, maybe like 10 cents more than minimum wage. I, what was I making? I think I wasn't making much more than minimum wage, I don't think. I don't even remember what minimum wage is in New York. But I wasn't making very much. Um, to give you an idea, my paycheck, after paying rent, I had just over $100 left. So that kind of gives you an idea of what I was working with. Now I managed, I did live on my own for half a year. <laughs> That's as long as I lasted because then I got this job offer back home that I took. Um, but I was down there for six months and I, I did pretty well. There was a couple times that I started to struggle a little bit and I pretty much lived off of cereal. But um, I, for the most part, did pretty well, and I would have done better if it was just me, but I did have all of my animals with me, and keeping reptiles is not cheap. So I, I was spending quite a lot of money between myself, my animals, paying gas, because I did live half an hour away from the zoo, because I don't like cities, so I lived in a small town outside. Um, so I was constantly having to refill my tank and my car was horrible on gas. Um, and then, you know, all my bills, I paid for my Wi-Fi, um, electric, a little bit of water, um, each month, rent. Um, I luckily didn't have to pay my student loans yet. We wanted to refinance, um, some of them because they were quite a lot. So my parents kept those until we refinanced, which we finally done, so now I pay those. Um, and then my direct loans, I think, my monthly payment was zero because I didn't make enough for them to even like ask me for money. <laughs> so I didn't have to pay anything on those. Um, you know, if I could, I would put some money towards it just for interest purposes, but I really, I didn't because I had like no money. So there was a couple things that I did to help myself live down there and I would not have been able to do it if it wasn't for budgeting. And then, as you guys know, I started my Etsy shop and the reason for that was to bring in some extra cash because I didn't feel comfortable with how little I had and I wanted the extra cash for my animals. So the purpose of my Etsy shop was to have money directly go back to my animals and their care. Um, so any vet bills, any food, any new lights I had to buy, that all came from Etsy. And that way I could use more of the money that I got from work 
to pay off my credit card debt um, because I seriously went to credit card debt making very little money um, so to pay off my credit card to pay off my bills my gas my rent so starting Etsy just helped me breathe a little bit but I could have done it without Etsy. Etsy was just a nice comforting blanket that helped me breathe <laughs> but you know my top priority was always the animals I feel like for me personally rehoming is never an option I know for some people um, you know hard times you have to rehome animals you know you gotta do what you gotta do for me personally I feel like when I take in an animal I'm making a promise to that animal to always take care of it so I I personally cannot rehome animals because you know they're a part of my family now I love them I cannot even imagine rehoming them and I feel like I personally made a promise to them so my top priority is always the animals if I have to live off of cereal for two weeks until my next paycheck then I will do that I love cereal no big deal but thankfully I only had to do that once or twice <laughs> and that was usually the weeks or the uh yeah the weeks that I had to pay rent because that took like my whole paycheck but anyway enough rambling on I'm going to show you guys how I budgeted so that if you guys you know you're struggling financially you work a job that you don't make very much at maybe you work in the zoo field or you're looking to work in the zoo field this can help you this can help really anyone save money it's not just for the people that don't make very much like I did um this is a great tool for anyone to use to help you save money now I watched when I moved in and I realized you know I gotta start budgeting so when I moved away and I realized you know I need to start budgeting we had everything that I had to pay for a month laid out we tried to come up with a monthly budget and I literally on my days off would just sit in my apartment watching YouTube videos about budgeting. I was waiting for like the magical budgeting fairy to come through the TV and tap me on the head and say here you go you can save money now because you know you like to spend money but I'm gonna fix you. <laughs> so I the personally a monthly budget didn't work for me because I do like to spend money um, and I don't like to have to keep track of things like hardcore so for personally a monthly budget didn't work for me what I did was a paycheck to paycheck budget and I found that amazingly helpful and and I didn't go like super insane with it I'm not one of those like really intense budgeters I did it just enough for me to pay what I needed to pay when I needed to pay it and to be able to afford to live so I didn't go crazy, um, but I did do some things I found really helpful, so I'm going to share with those with you guys today. So here I have my Adult King binder. In this binder I have my budgeting stuff, you know, my bank account information for when I moved and opened a new bank account, my information about the Wi-Fi, um, anything that had to do with my apartment and rent, it all went in here. Now it's pretty empty because I live back in my parents' house, so I don't have too much to worry about. Um, so I'm not like seriously budgeting, trying to pay bills and everything. You know, my job now pays better than I would ever make in a zoo. Um, and I'm very, very fortunate. I still get to work with animals. I still get to work in education. I'm outside most of the time. Um, and it's a state job. So I make a lot more money than I would ever make at a zoo. So I'm very, very, very fortunate for that. However, trash truck is outside. Kind of loud. Just ignore the trash truck. So, that being said, you know, I'm home. I don't have to budget for bills, like um, a water bill, electric bill, Wi-Fi bill. I don't have to pay rent each month. However, I still budget because now that I'm not paying rent and everything, I have a car loan that I have to pay off because I did buy a new car when I got home because my car was like two miles away from exploding. Um, was <laughs> did not feel comfortable driving that thing around and it, it was time to get a new car and I've always gotten like really old really inexpensive cars so I was like you know what I'm not having to pay rent right now while I've got that well while I'm, while I'm lucky and my parents are letting me live here I'm going to take this opportunity to get myself a nice car for once that's actually gonna last me quite a few years 
that isn't cheap that's nice that has seat warmers and a sunroof that's all i want seat warmers and a sunroof and i got even luckier because that new car has a heated steering wheel i never knew i needed a hearing st heated steering wheel until that car so anyway getting off topic um i have a car loan now and i did take on all of my student loans we did finally um go about the refinancing process and everything so I still do have to budget for those things because you know car loan student loans credit card bill and my animals and I'm currently building lots of animal enclosures so I had to you know buy all of that supplies so in the binder I'll see if I even have all the stuff in here still because I cleaned it out I'll see if I just even have examples Nope, I don't even have the samples. Never mind the binder. I'll just tell you. So maybe I'll um, screenshot or insert pictures of the files I use over this video. So the very first step is to get a calendar. Print out a calendar, open a calendar on your computer, whatever, whichever way you want to do it. In this calendar for the month, write out what your monthly payments are, right? Which day you have to pay rent if you have to, or a house loan, which day your student loans are due, your car payments, your credit card, rent, electric, water, gas, whatever you pay in a month, write down what day that is due. The next step is to write out, or on the calendar, put when your payday is. What day do you get paid? Now the next step is to assign those monthly payments to one of your paychecks. So that is the paycheck budgeting method, is assigning different things you have to pay to each paycheck. That way when you get your paycheck, you know you can pay off whatever you assigned to it, and whatever you didn't assign to it, you know is going to be covered by the next paycheck. So this really helped me considering that my rent was pretty much my whole paycheck. So that paycheck went towards rent, and the rest of it went to animals and groceries. My other paycheck paid for all of my bills because that really didn't add up to very much, maybe a hundred dollars, and then I'd usually put like a hundred dollars into my credit card debt. So I still had quite a bit of money. I could put some into savings. I could, um, you know, buy anything else I needed for my animals. Usually, it all went into savings, and then whenever I needed anything for my animals, I pulled from that. Um, but so I assigned each thing that I had to pay in the month to a paycheck to figure out which way would be the most financially okay way for me so that I could still afford food and live. So that's why, you know, rent was the only thing that came out of that paycheck so that I could buy food for two weeks. <laughs> and then, then the other one was my one that was a little more helped me to breathe because I didn't have to lose the whole paycheck to rent. Now a top tip that I have is to ditch the cards. Ditch the credit card, ditch the debit card, don't even carry them with you in your wallet. Um, so to kind of explain this further and to explain how to still afford things without having your cards there, after you assign your monthly payments to a paycheck you're going to figure out how much money you are going to give yourself for your necessities so in a month figure out you know how much you spend on food for your animals find out figure out how much you want to give yourself for groceries um, so, you know, even not for a month, do it for like a two-week period because, you know, you're budgeting your paychecks. Find out, you know, in this two-week period, how much money do I need for groceries? How much money do I need to feed my animals? How much money do I need for whatever, for, you know, extra supplies? If you need toilet paper, or you need to buy medicine, or you need to buy something random, whatever you need to buy. And then if you can manage to do it, give yourself some fun money, even if it's just $5.00 each paycheck that will add up and then you can do something fun with it you can go out to eat you can go to the movies you can buy yourself something you've been wanting so leave yourself some fun money if you can I personally really didn't 
but if I had money and savings and it added up enough, if I wanted something that wasn't very expensive, I usually treated myself and did it. But I really didn't buy myself much at all um, when I lived on my own six months. I really never bought myself new clothes. I love to buy new clothes. I'm really bad about it. I never bought myself new clothes until I knew that I was moving out and coming back home. Then I dug into the savings because I knew once I came back here, I'd be financially okay. Not the smartest move, but I hadn't really gone shopping for myself in a very long time and I just kind of let it go. <laughs> so this method kind of goes into the envelope method that you may have heard of before and this is you have your envelopes and each envelope is labeled with what you're putting money into. So you have an envelope for gas, you have an envelope for groceries, you have an envelope for your pets and then each paycheck you go to the bank and you pull out whatever cash you assigned to that envelope for the month or for the month for the two weeks or however often you get paid. Most people I feel like it's bi-weekly and then you put that money into the envelope. So like I had a gas envelope. Each paycheck I pulled out $40 for gas and then I would leave that in my center console. So if I ever needed gas, I had my gas money. And then I had my grocery money. So I think I gave myself like 20 bucks for groceries every two weeks because I can make, I can manage that. Sometimes I would go over and it's whatever um, because you know, I was putting extra money into savings. So I went $10 over, it was whatever. Um, but usually $20 I was pretty good. You know, I got milk, chicken, rice, cereal. I was usually pretty good. Now most of the time, um, I wasn't very good about the envelope method. A lot of people like this because it keeps it all separate. Um, I usually just pulled out money and then was like, all right, here's my $20 for groceries. And then I'd leave the rest of the money in the car and I'd go in with my $20. That way I couldn't spend more than $20 because that's all I had. And that's kind of the point of not using credit cards or debit cards and using cash is you literally cannot spend more than that money you assigned yourself because all you got, you walked with a $20 bill, you can't spend over $20. So that was really, really helpful. So that's pretty much the main gist of how I budgeted my money. I, you know, did the calendar, assigned each payment to a paycheck. I tried not to use my credit card or debit card. For the most part, I left it at home and tried to use cash only and figured out how much cash I was going to give myself for my main needs each paycheck so I could pull it right out and have that cash. Now I do want to go off of the budgeting a little bit and talk about some other things I did to help me pay for my animals because you know this is a reptile channel for the most part eco-friendly was zookeeping still take care of animals though and reptile channel so lots of animal stuff going on here um, and a lot of people that watch my videos are reptile keepers so I want to talk a little bit about things I did to help me pay for my reptiles because I made like no money <laughs> so like I mentioned earlier one of the things I did was start my Etsy I've always wanted to start an Etsy I just couldn't commit to what I wanted to sell and I couldn't commit to starting like I needed that extra push and once I was living on my own and feeling very financially not great and that was kind of the push I finally needed because um, I was like, you know, if I start this and I make money, all that money can go towards my animals and then there's less money coming out of my paycheck that I can put towards other things like groceries, bills, my debt, <laughs> and savings. So that was kind of the push I needed and right off the bat, it was amazing. You know, thank you to everyone that has supported herpetology. I couldn't have expected it to have gone any better when I opened like in the first week in the first day like it was amazing um so that was very very helpful you know I took Eugene my chameleon to the vets twice completely paid for by herpetology you know I had to buy new UVB lights paid for by herpetology so that was amazing it definitely helped me so if you guys have any 
side hobbies, side hustles, anything you can do to help bring in more money, why not do it? Um, the last thing I want to mention is buying food for your animals, like feeder insects. A lot of places that, um, this is kind of my, my secret tip that I'm sharing with you guys. A lot of places that sell feeder insects have a rewards program. So if you get people to buy from that site, you get points that you can use towards your purchase. So when you guys use my link to buy from adubiroaches.com, you get a discount and I earn points. And then I can use those points towards my purchases. So it takes a little bit of money off of my purchase when I'm buying food for my animals. So I can't tell you how much you guys helped me when I was living on my own working at the zoo. There were some times that all I had to pay for was shipping because enough of you used my link that I had points racked up and I could buy neutral grubs for tansy or I could buy hornworms and um, super worms for the other lizards and I didn't have to pay for them. All I had to pay was shipping and that was incredibly helpful and it made me so happy. I can't thank you guys enough for helping me during that time. So with that being said, if you guys are new here and you haven't heard of DoobieRoaches.com, they're like the only place I will buy feeder insects from. I love them so much. I've never been disappointed. I've never had a bug come in dead. Um, so if you want to check them out, link is in the description below. I find their prices to be the best. I find their shipping prices to be the best. Um, and if you click that link below, like I said, you get a discount. I get some points to put towards my purchases in the future. So it's a win, win, win. So yeah. So I'm trying to think about any more tips. I don't think so. I don't think so. But anyway, you'll find when you really crack down and start budgeting your money, you end up having more money because you know you're not unnecessarily spending money and then it's gone you know you really pay attention to what you're saving what you're spending and what you need to spend and when you're like oh like for me i was like i can totally live off of buying groceries 20 bucks for two weeks so like why am i spending 50 dollars every time i go to the grocery store when i can go and spend 20 bucks and be totally fine for two weeks so for me it was like a huge huge eye-opener and it helped me save a lot more money it helped me live a lot more comfortably so hopefully this kind of helps you guys even if you don't feel like you're financially unstable or that you don't make enough money just budgeting and like only living off of the bare minimum like what you need to live off of you end up saving so much money and it's really amazing so hopefully this helped some of you guys. I know a lot of you were asking me in the past because I talked about budgeting all of the time when I lived down there. A lot of you guys asked me to talk about budgeting and how I budgeted and saved money. So hopefully this helps you guys out, especially for those of you that are looking at going into the zoo field or are in the zoo field. Hopefully this helps you guys live a little more comfortably. So if this did help you guys out, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss more videos. You know, I've got lots of animals. I work with animals. If you really like animals, just hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you for the next video.